Garner can't get it to fall. Bone in traffic. Nice rebound in front of Tom Brown. On the wing, three ball thrown in by Brandon Twitty for freeze. Back outside to Graff will try it. Got a three ball. For Shamir Johnson. Oh, nice. Got it back. Out of the corner, another three ball thrown in by Owen DeGraff. Now Adam Freeze for Morton out of the corner. Wow. Now stepping through and a floater thrown in by Zay Jennings, his second bucket of the day. Still in that zone. The, the little wing shots are what open up in the, against the zones. There it is. Outside Brown. Got it. From a Levicious. And now Twitty. Morton to try to tie it. And he does. That was off the mark. Oh, nice rebound by Irma Levicious over the top of Brown. Now Bowen. Back outside. Owen chose with a three ball. Boy, he was quiet in that first half. Ball deflected. Three seconds to shoot. Prayer thrown up is answered outside the arc by Ryan Rowland. Morton, three ball. Got the good bounce. Hernandez. Oh, nice play by Chos. Picked his pocket. Chos on the go all the way through two. From the corner, another three ball thrown in. Ryan Rowland. And the Skyhawks lead is three. Five minutes into this second half. Make that six. Oh, uh, executed the scissors cut at the top of the key. Now Rowland. And Josh Mack with the steal. Mack the other way with two. Bowen trying to go inside, will take it himself, and kicks it back outside. Brandon Twitty nails a three. Twitty back inside, Irma Levicious, one-on-one -on -one with Brown. Oh, nice oh. move that time. That was pretty for two. A nine-point lead game was tied at halftime. Twitty back down inside, Irma Levicious. Back outside, Morton, three ball, wow. Five seconds to shoot. There's Morton on the go, dropped it off inside, Irma Levicious. <laughs> That's when you know things are going your way. And the play continues, everybody's ready to go home. Jumper at the buzzer, a three ball for Zay Jennings, and that ends it. And the Skyhawks will walk off their home floor with an impressive 80 to 69 win so, Monty, are anybody in Lithuania paying attention to these games? Uh, if it's not too late, I'm pretty sure my parents are watching this game. Oh, good. My host parents as well in Maryland. Oh, that's excellent. That's and hopefully excellent. my girlfriend, too. Uh, <laughs> well, you'll find out soon enough, won't yeah. you? Tell me what happened at halftime. You guys were tied, and then you came out with a big spurt in the second half. What was the difference? After a tough loss previous game, we kind of like regathered ourselves, and we said we need to emphasize defense. That's what at, at the half, that's what kind of coach did. We need to to defend the ball and uh, execute the plays that coach was calling and we were successful because we executed. And you can, we can just tell from watching, you just get more and more comfortable on that low block with every game that goes by. Definitely, it really helps that my teammates are pushing me and giving me confidence, keep, keep giving the ball and I keep giving touches and hopefully I'll keep, keep playing well. I, it really helps when coaches believe in you. Is there someone that you work with that helps you with all of this, or is this just something that you're working on on your own? Coach Miller, every time I'm on three-point line trying to shoot, Coach Miller is like, hey, <laughs> shoot after you get, get at, least, inside. at least 100 hooks. <laughs> so that's what I've been working, especially for the past couple days. I've been really emphasizing play, playing on the low block and you know executing those hooks and uh, mic and drills and stuff like that. Yep. That was fun to watch. Congratulations. Thank you. I really well appreciate done. it. Appreciate Thank it. you. Right. Monty Irma Levicious, who finished with 17 points for the Skyhawks. We were on the road for so long um, to start the season, and my wife will attest to that with two little <laughs> kids at home that she was like, what is going on? So, yeah, good to be home and good to take just take care of um, our gym and take care of, you know, our home court. And um, we, yeah, we, we've won 5-0 and at home, which is great, so um, I wish we could play the rest of them at home, but we got to go on the road here um, in, in three days. 
Um, but that, you know, just regardless, wherever you play, uh, you're playing really good teams and you're playing really tough teams and um, and really well coached teams like Lemoyne now is by Nate Champion who worked for me. Um, he got a start here at Stonehill. So today was, I, I said to him after, it's like it, it's it's hard where one of you has to lose and you know it's going to be the result no matter what. But that was pretty pretty neat to, to get the chance to coach against him. Um, just a hard fought, tough team win. and. We really, really defended um, at a high level today and, and made things really tough. And, um, and they've been, they've, they're leading the league in scoring. And at, I think they're at 89 or 90 or so to hold them to, to 69 points in a last second three ball that dropped for them. So basically 66 points you held those guys to, which is tough to do with how skilled and talented and good they are on the perimeter and, and inside. And um, just our, our guys played great. We had just great contributions across the board. And, I'm um, just so proud of our group. It was a great team win. At halftime, we just, uh, I told our guys, it was, that was a really good 20 minutes of basketball to watch and be a part of. You know, it was a really high level of ball. Both teams playing really well, um, offensively, defensively, toughness, you know, just, it was a really good basketball game. And um, we came out with the same type of mindset and just were able to knock a few down early and um, to get ourselves up with just a lot of energy right at the gates that just propelled us right through the finish. Um, but we, we we talked in our last couple games or last couple days where coming out of Bridgeport we Bridgeport beat us um, but we didn't play our best I thought we weren't as tough as um, we had been and we really challenged our guys with some toughness and just more so talked to our guys about just the toughness levels that you need to, to get back to and we'll need in this game and we absolutely had that for 40 minutes today. Yes. Monty was awesome. Um, he was really excited too to play and um, he had a former, one of his former teammates uh, from Lemoyne was, was on the other side and um, we, we just, we played through him, we fed it to him and he just, he, he even missed a couple little bunnies earlier where he's like, I just missed, we're like, we know you did, let's just keep going, we're going to keep coming to you. Um, and he was just so good and they they had to collapse and they had to come like just dump down and we've got shooters on the perimeter and we're making stuff you know obviously when it got kicked out that it's hard to, to stop us it's hard to guard um, when you've got the ability to play both inside and out of course yeah just to bring the toughness back you know and, and Mike the, the one thing though Mike was battling some injuries and battling you know just trying to get back and he hasn't really fully practiced you know especially coming to the break or just to get his win back and get going um, but we just I, I just thought you know we had him in coming off the Bridgeport one with what Mike does and I don't hold 11 rebounds right there. Just Mike affects winning in so many ways. Um, and he's the type of guy you want on your side. He's the type of guy you want to go in the foxhole with. And he's the type of guy that when that ball goes up in the air, you want him on your side because you know he's coming down with the majority of them. And he did that nine defensive rebounds. Um, he was great. He was absolutely great. And it was great to have the NE10. That's, uh, that's the wonderful life in the NE10. Um, no off nights, no easy games, no easy opponents. Everyone's good. Everyone's tough. Everyone's skilled. Everyone shoots it. Everyone's big. Everyone's a really good basketball team. And Adelphi is going to be a really, really big challenge for us down there at their place um, in a couple days.